I am currently sipping on some banana peel tapache that I made a couple of weeks ago. This is a light, refreshing, acidic, slightly effervescent and probiotic containing drink. And I'm gonna tell you how to make it in this video. And of course, we're gonna check out what microbes are responsible for fermenting this beverage under the microscope. Welcome back everyone, I'm Robin from This Vlog's Meat and I made a variation on tapache. If you've never heard of tapache before, this is a traditional Mexican fermented beverage. It does not contain a high alcohol content by any means, so it's really low ABV. Think of it more as like a kombucha. It has probiotic properties, it is light and refreshing and slightly effervescent, and it's really nice and it's easy to make. So traditionally, tapache is made using pineapple skins. It's made using pineapple skins, some water, some piloncillo or brown sugar, and often some spices will get tossed in. And tapache has been around for a while. It originated in Mesoamerica like long before the Spanish conquistadors got there and it was traditionally made by the Nahuatl speaking people. Its etymology suggests that it's a derivation of an ancient maize beverage. And tapache can be produced from other fruits like apples, oranges, guava. But I drew inspiration from the Zero Waste Cooking School. I saw that they had posted a recipe over on Instagram and I kind of took that and ran with it. I put my own twist on it. So I had a bunch of banana peels because I was cat sitting my neighbor's cat. His name is Smooshy. Smooshy's mom was like, I got a ton of bananas. Please take them. I won't be home for a while. And she did. She had a full bunch of bananas and they were very, very, very ripe. They were also smooshy. They were so ripe that like when you grabbed the stems, they started to fall off of the stems and peel themselves. So I had all these banana peels and I thought, why not make something refreshing and probiotic and I get to put it under the microscope. Like, why not? So yeah, that's what I did. Now, depending on how the tapache is made and where it's made and everything, the microbes that are found in tapache are going to vary dramatically. I read this one review that was published in 2021 that was titled Traditional Fermented Beverages of Mexico, a Biocultural Unseen Foodscape. And they listed all of the bacteria, yeast, and fungi that were found in traditionally made tapache in literature. And in this paper, there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different genera. Genera, is that the plural of genus? As far as yeast goes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different genera of yeast. This includes Saccharomyces, Pichia, Hansonia spora, Candida, ones that we come across often in brewing. Some of the bacteria that are included are Acetobacter, Leuconostoc, Lactobacillus, Bacillus, Lactococcus, Pediococcus. Again, all things that we come across in brewing, so. Before I give you my recipe, I wanna give a huge shout out to the Patreons. Thank you guys so much for helping to support the channel. And two weeks ago when I made this, you guys already got the recipe. So I hope you guys started up your own tapache batches as well. Now, if you, the viewer, would also like to join us on Patreon, I would be so thankful. I've got a link in the description below where you can join our neat community over there. Okay, so here's the recipe that I used. So I took all of the banana peels I had, which uh, amounted to 273 grams of banana peels. I then added 2,738 grams of water. I then added to that 218 grams of honey. I had some leftover cinnamon simple syrup. I feel like that's the story of my life. So I added 56 grams of cinnamon simple syrup. This is a one-to-one -one simple syrup, by the way. And I was trying to think what else goes with 
banana. So I went to this book I have called The Food Matrix and looked to see what different flavor pairings I could come up with in this tapache. In there was peach and thyme. I believe vanilla was also listed, but like, of course, vanilla goes with banana. I just happened to have a like kind of wrinkly dehydrating peach in the fridge. So I thought that would be perfect. So I tossed that and the pit in there as well. Um, I also had a sprig of thyme, toss that in, and I had a vanilla pod. So I tossed that vanilla pod in there too. These numbers sound really random and I went off of percentages depending on how much banana peel I had. And I will include all of those percentages and everything like that in the recipe that I've got down in the description below. After I mixed that all together, I set it aside and let it ferment. Fermentation started within like a day and then it continued pretty rapidly for the next few days. And after nine days, I re-racked it and popped it in the fridge. Now, before I taste this tapache, let's check out what microbes are responsible for fermenting it. So right away you can see there are both yeast and bacteria. It seems that there's a lot more bacteria than there are yeast. And based on what I can see, I think those yeasts are most likely Saccharomyces cerevisiae. They're oval, they're budding, they look like your regular, regular brewing yeast. Now, the bacteria on the other hand are a little bit more varied. I see both rod-shaped and spherical-shaped or bacillus-shaped and cockeye-shaped. The rod-shaped bacteria come in a variety of lengths, but mostly they seem to be on the smaller and medium size, although I did see a few that look to be extremely long. I don't see any long chains of these spherical bacteria, so no streptococci. A lot of them are singles, I see some pairs, and then I did see a number of different clusters. As far as the rod-shaped bacteria goes, there's some singles, a lot of pairs, and some, just a few, of very long chains. Now, as I was moving around the slide, I did catch a few motile bacteria, which is really exciting. This means these bacteria are like swimming around the slide. They have flagella that can propel them. This could be a number of different bacteria. Um, however, some options is that it might be Lactobacillus helveticus or Lactobacillus fermentum. Both of those Lactobacillus species have flagella that help them move around really quickly. Bacillus subtilis, which sounds like it just made up that name, also has one flagellum that helps repel it around. So it could be that as well. But yeah, so that's the tapache underneath the microscope. And now here we are today, which is six days after popping it in the fridge. It is still delicious. So this is just over two weeks from having fermented this. And yeah, as I said, it's light and refreshing. I don't know that I would know that this was banana peel if I didn't make it with banana peels, right? It has like a very mild fruitiness, but it does not scream banana, which I'm actually really happy about. And honestly, I'm not sure I pick up any of the notes of the peach, or the cinnamon, or the vanilla, or the thyme, <laughs> which makes it seem silly that I mixed all that stuff in there. However, they could be playing this nice little delicate balance together, which, yeah, just makes this taste really delicious. Right, it doesn't scream banana. It doesn't really scream anything in particular. And it has this really fun, like, acidic quality to it. That's not acidic, like, sometimes for me, kombucha, is like way too much like vinegar. And this is like a really, really delicate vinegar. I think there's probably more lactic acid buildup in here. 
It's funny, I gave this to Jerry the other night and he said that he smelled a salinity on here that reminded him of olives. And I do not get that at all. <laughs> like a brininess, he was getting like a brininess, but I really don't get that. So yeah, this is really nice. This is really light and it was a great way to use banana peels. <laughs> like, yeah, I took a waste product and used that to make a refreshing probiotic beverage. If you have bananas and banana peels, <laughs> I would highly recommend trying to make some banana peel tapache. If you do, let me know in the comments below, or if you have made tapache before, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and let me know what other things you would like me to ferment.